is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head.
Lesson one, Mob Joggies. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two. You can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. such a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. Ah! Daddy! I saw the heavens opened. I saw them opened. Oh, the beauty of the revelation. My dear elite. Hello, distinguished friends. I finally found the answer we've all been looking for. Last, a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station.
to my daughter, Eleanor. Soon you will be born, and Rapture will be your home. You shall be raised as I was, to advance the common good through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Eleanor. Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, Rapture will come to us. Men too common for the common. <laughs> Taste of Adam in weeks. I don't need to hear your browsing. Go. This is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. I am back in the Rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up and think of me no more. After what I once did to them, it was a joy to be forgotten. But now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return, in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. Five sun pipes! Oh, no, 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 Miss down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Rapture. This is where that thing took my, my poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins. But there were lights here and there. And shapes moving. Oh, I'm rambling, scared, I guess. But maybe, if I find this Dr. Lamb, I keep hearing over the PA. I'll find Cindy, too. Peace. 
sister doesn't want you playing with me. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. Last entry. Lizzie and I, we found a sphere, and we're going home. Ain't that right, baby? Next stop, topside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. It was you who saved us, Sammy. It was you, Button. I... What was that? What's that sound? She's seen us. It's Liam. Torpedo! 
Delta, you arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. I'll take three this time. Do you understand that? Three. And I pack up all the blankets. So they'd be right for her. Well. You now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals.
Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Security cameras belong to Lamb, but if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. Think that we were strangers a couple of nights ago.
It's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. at bows. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Diary. Want to play? Actually, I'm quite busy right now, Miss Eleanor. Maybe later. Well, all right. But do you mind if I take you apart while I wait? I promise I'll put you back together. Wait! You can't do that! No! Wait! Wait! scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid. 
A little girl. Cindy's alive. I know it in my gut. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up, and straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias, dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real as rain. Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to notice. is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. <laughs> In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos, all responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain.
elevator. Is what the children tell me. You are a very old big daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Su Chong's death was a nasty blow to the Protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight, like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more, something stronger, an unbreakable physiological bond.
using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is Subject, is Subject Delta. Delta. Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people, without soul or sympathy. It is a beast apart, and as family, we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lamb will take this place apart to fight you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this, but there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta, and good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture, and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure, and though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. 
Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Elena is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Jim Dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. 
I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Listen up. Chabersky, get yourself clean. No fuck up this time. Daddy's home. Take it. Fire. Where'd you go? I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo, a state-of-the-art submersible platform Nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the sea floor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, Engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected health. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusements. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. Used to be, there was no margin in running the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of renovation. Then, I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop can whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer.
I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Each of us has a moral duty to increase the common joy and ease the common pain. Alone, we are nothing. Mere engines of self-interest. Together, we are the family. And through unity, we transcend the self. Hmm. Will eternity be hot or cold? Bastard pile of junk! You broke it, didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit! Mean. You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. Typical broad. Stay away from things you don't know nothing about. I'm Everybody's on the go these days. Everybody but you. You still haven't experienced Ryan Industries' new spring line of plasmids. Isn't it about time you got caught up? Evolve today.
We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them big daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. A couple of... Who's there? I gotta disappear! <laughs> Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good.
Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Daddy, are you taking me home too? We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. This way. She don't even have to look at the baby. She won't even... Oh. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splicers will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. We found it! That is a child of the family, not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. You know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up.
is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you, because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed, if those we left behind will ever come to their senses. So, let us imagine, you and I, what might befall us on the surface. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a home and lands of his own. But the parasites say no. What was yours is ours. We are the state. We are gone. We demand our share. Dancing. 
I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusted in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want Rapture? They can have it. She is a revelation! The lamb is becoming a woman is a damned collectivist here in Rapture. How could the Council fail to see it? Worse, to hide her intent, she gulls these patients of hers into a religious frenzy. A new Kremlin will rise and swallow the Council House before they realize they've been had. sentient creature, but I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there.
like an angel. The precious Lamb of God. I know I'll reach that new Jerusalem. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. What's going to say? <laughs> Parasite makes nothing for itself. Its only tools are taxes and tithes meant to trick you into offering what it has not earned. In Rapture, we keep what is ours. On the surface, the scientist invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled and finally surrendered. strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. Tet to share our view. <laughs> Lacking its own ingenuity, the parasite fears the visionary. But it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate.
the surface, your parents sought a private life, using their great talents to provide for you. They learned to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasites said, No! The child has a duty. He will go to war and die for the nation. Even Daddy's toys have toys. I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. I could fill 40 front pages at the Tribune with stories about this fella, <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what, and he flashes me these thousand dollars Steinman teeth saying this job will, quote, change history. <laughs> she is a revelation. Will. <laughs> Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers.
Well, our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. Stash myself. session today with this amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. She said that all Ryan's horse shit about always looking out for number one is turning us little guys against each other. And what we need is unity, solidarity. Then, huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out, I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. So today, I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. Unable to provide for itself, the need of the parasite grows until war is made to justify it. Your parents brought you to Rapture where you need never fear the parasites again. So you see, there is no place for you on the surface, but you may bring the world to you. If you know someone who belongs in Rapture, write a letter to the Ryan Industries mailroom, and you never know, the next new face might be familiar. Thank you. 
I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy in Rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as Mother wouldn't send him to the surface. For you, Jimbo. It'll get you out of that lonely hearts club for good. This scheme works 100% of the time, guaranteed. First, find some Betty and take her to Ryan Amusements. Then, you'll go to the gift shop, buy her a teddy bear. This is key. I ain't kidding around. Then, you buy her a ticket on Journey to the Surface. As soon as you hit that first scare, bingo! Tunnel. Of... love. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done.
light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? Son, not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride.
he's gone. James was the only man I ever loved, and now it's like he never even came to Rapture. He heard me sing at the limbo room, came up all bashful. He liked hearing songs about what it's really like to live in this town. I think he's been trying to organize folks against Ryan. And now he's gone, and I'm here, singing Rise, Rapture, Rise. Scared to death they're gonna come for me. Standard sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. market was some kind of holy spirit gonna lead us all over the rainbow. And I reckon it's a big fat hooker too dim to spot a wooden nickel. So old Andy went and became his own ghost. And I whittled nickels till I made a mint. since we were trapped in this rotten park. <sighs> I haven't been eating. The children need uh, all the supplies we've got left. Need them more than I do. 
I don't know what's gonna happen. I can feel myself getting weaker. The children have noticed the condition I'm in, of course. What will happen once I'm gone? I'll be... all alone. Suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face.
Ladies, doors and parties! Poor little girl! I have been on Collection. Give it away. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here, city pissing on us. Never dry. Ryan doesn't care, and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for rapture. And for me. The hounds! Someone must have. Snowy Adam, Daddy? Over there! No use hiding. Says, piss off and die for ten shit. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home. But that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. Nobody hurt my daddy! Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture. But it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them.
Almost home, Daddy. Ugh. It's this way. Sign to Cohen. The monster has taken another of our children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our god. Are you taking me home too? 
Use that code you found on the keypad outside the clinic. Should get you up on the rooftops. up a rhinoceros, of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. by them and yet they can tell I'm their better. Huh? Eleanor, 
Mummy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. Mummy! Don't go! Eleanor, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. Dr. Lamb, Sophia, I came down here to sing and to start a family, but I just don't fit with these people. Look at you. You fit with them. Grace, in Ryan's rapture, I am the pariah. You and I share unpopular ideas, but I wonder, how devoted are you to the rapture people? If you wish to know more, Wear this butterfly brooch at our next session. If not, no harm done. We shall never speak of it again. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? <laughs> Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him. Then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splice a tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel.
Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over.
buffoon. Facing Creed's welcome, they says. They got big promises. Salvation, immortality, a way out of here. I don't care how crazy it sounds. A way out of rapturous music to my ears. Next Sunday morning, I'll be there. We found it! Where 
If I submit to the debates with Lamb, we defang her. I have done so. And have you been to Popper's Drop, Bill? Listen. When you're down and out. Between each song, these Zablamovs hand out her manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lamb. You made her, McDonough, and now you will convince the Council to sponsor her silence. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look 
Look at you, sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan, was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other.
That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. The whole city tugging on the same dollar bills. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key.
I know it's wrong to feel so fine right now, but I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally going to lock her up. It's going to gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I, that I was barren, and she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb, gorgeous, clever little girl. I have a child now, and it's going to put the whole world all right. Baby Snatcher's headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Thank <laughs> you. 
Watching you hurt shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my joy where I can. Outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bunk! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Come <laughs> on. 
fucking Another day waiting for Harry to come home. I told him not to speak up against Mr. Ryan's policies, and now he's missing. Just never came home. I went by the bookstore, and all his books are gone, too. I don't know what to do. Now I have to deal with that awful Sinclair just to have a roof over my head. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. More baddies. Gotta find me more baddies. hundred. What a snap. Give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles, then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. What a racket. A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. I'm gonna be back on top soon. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Sucker. We both, we both died, died tonight, tonight monster. monster. I, because, because your kind your has killing in its nature. nature. And, and you, because, because there's, there's no, no way the family, family will let you let stroll, stroll out alive, alive with that key. key. I got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir. 
and he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red, but Mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dog now too, barbarian, happy. And Mum said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm, Eleanor thinks ignorant sound like fun. I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. What are you doing? Come on, you goddamn monster. Do what you always do. Come on! To hell with you then! Come on! You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? <laughs> no monster alive turns the other cheek. <laughs> no monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds.
These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt. But I am not so easy a mark. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. shall never reach her gun.
kid? Come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. The park is sealed, Chief. You aren't getting in there just yet. But if you get down to that pumping station in Siren Alley and drain the place out, this airlock will let you in. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft. And yet, you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death. And for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. of a servant waits for word. I have followed the letter of the Holy Mother Lamb, though she will not tell me the day of your return. I watched as you smote down the false father, Andrew Ryan, who tempted us away from your radiant gaze. But you would not speak to me, Lord. I have built for you this great temple and gathered your flock, yet still you were silent. Will you not strike me, poor brother blind? so he may at last behold your glory, as was done to Paul on the road to Damascus. I am alone, Lord, alone, and waiting for a sign. And
beast of Ryan lives! Gather the family! Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive. of sister loss has become unacceptable as big daddies are brought down like elephants under a pack of hyenas. In response, we've begun production of a newly designed big daddy model, nicknamed the Rumbler. He launches high explosive munitions to disperse groups of splicers, followed by miniature automated turrets to mop up the stragglers. Our tests find that the Rumbler's performance is highly effective, if messy. In Rapture's arms race, splicers aren't the only ones that are evolving. You're the game. Uh, yeah. What did you say? You heard me, you cheat! That's it. I've had enough of you already. Listen, my supplier's got a new shipment of plasmids coming in, and I need you to pick them up from the lab in Hedon Plaza. There's a hidden switch 
to open the back door. It's tucked away under the cash register in the shop front. And don't let nobody see you do it. Otherwise, <laughs> we'll have splices crawling all over the damn place trying to get a taste. I do love Siren Alley, the kind of place you go to scratch an itch you're ashamed of, even in a town with no laws. But that's not why I favor it. The place started out as the Mason's Quarter, all builders and architects, proper as you please. And it just tickles me when someone in a fancy hat falls in the mud. Like a lot of the ladies down here, Siren Alley was born with a more respectable name but only God remembers what it was.
Charge up to generate chain lightning. Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces.
<laughs> well, Mr. Diary, Mom's got a new security system to stop me from seeing Amir and the other kids. But security's just made of bits and bobs, like you are. And now we're the best of friends. Isn't that right? Anyway, Amir's got a whole book about the surface. It has India and Ireland and... and everywhere. Yes, all right, Mr. Diary. If you must know, I do think Amir's kind of pretty for a dog eater. Uh, oh no! Retreat! Eleanor, come back here at once. are on your side. Check the gatherer's garden for a package. Oh, my God. 
you're cooking, charge up for an explosive blast. This can't be right! I think Mother knows I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me. System. Divert bots, turrets, and cameras to attack where you choose. Send friendly bots on errands. Drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Wales and Wales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother. Turned us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest flicker of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl in your offices. Find the code on it, brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. Back <laughs> 
I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is. I'm sending you a care package to the new mo along the way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. Oh, great. Um, 20 bucks for um, anything I want, right? <laughs> Fine by me, sugar. So long as it don't be hard. Can we negotiate the price? Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gotta find the right thing for me. Not this any of Plus a moisture in it. Nothing's to say it's our design. But Simon goes to see Dr. Lamb anyway, beset by guilt, because we can't find another contract. Then he comes out the other side, saying he's always wanted to take the orders. He's Father Simon Wales now. If I ever see that Sophia Lamb in the street, I'm gonna give her the back of me feckin' hand, and a nut on the head besides. among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture. But during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. Kid. 
You don't even have to look at the baby. She won't even know it's there. Shine, I am shine.
gonna cure me! Show your face! Brother sends you now? A metal dragon handyman? and I designed cathedrals together. But I was the black old sheep back there, never believing a word of the Jesus bollocks myself. Then, Andrew Ryan says he wants Wales and Wales for rapture. A cathedral with no God, befitting the ascent of man. Now I'm running girls, and Simon thinks he's saving souls. Father Wales! Ha! Can you believe I share a womb with such a slap?
place. Don't let anyone in this place. Here's a dozen fucking dogs for you. No Nobody hurt my daddy. Tonight, I had a pain in me head, and this time it wasn't from the whining of the horse. So naturally, I came up to me office to murder it with a drink. But there on me liquor rack, there's a bottle of sacramental wine from my dear brother Simon. <laughs> and of course, the vintage date on the label is the code to enter his territory. 1919. I should pass his bleeding wine through me system, send it back warm. Delta. It lives within us, yet beyond us. Daniel Wales lacked it. Father Simon Wales does not. The faithful do not die in fear, as you did. We achieve martyrdom. Junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pumping station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting holy rollers down there for lamb. Thank <laughs> you. 
a death at your doorstep. And Simon, Daniel, is dead. Murdered. Can you hear him crying out for justice? They've cut the power on you. You're stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this, beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sends you there. Sport, I think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta, you who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan, what is the cost of paradise? To end pain, to end sin, what must we pay? Eleanor is my answer. Daddy, right here! Oh, 
Sinclair, I don't care how you accomplish Lamb's removal from the public eye. Indeed, I'd rather cease contact with you altogether. But allow me to make this plain. I don't want to see Lamb on the streets again, peddling her Bolshevik fever dreams to my people. Bury her memory, Sinclair. 
propped up is an elaborate front for some insane science experiment. She's twisting these girls into... into slaves. Bringing Adam back to Lamb's science facility, Fontaine Futuristics. I've got to find it. I've heard the splicers mumbling that Alexander is the ferryman. Bond is a success. If somehow an Alpha series wanders too far from his little sister, our physical failsafe kicks in. A chemical trigger that induces coma. It is a symbiotic relationship enforced by the girl's pheromone signature. The first successful candidate was Delta, I believe. It is unfortunate that poor Dr. Su Chong will not be here to raise a glass. United under the ocean, yet somehow expected to subscribe to the same model of self-interest. Ryan could be staggeringly naive. As individuals, no matter how brilliant, each was a prisoner to his or her own ego. A sea of dreams in constant flux. But in Adam, their genes remain, ready to be tested against a moral vessel. Utopia cannot precede the Utopian. It will exist the moment we are fit to occupy it. Yes. <laughs> 
all alone here, Mr. Diary. You're my whispering friend. A doctor keeps coming to see me. He says Rapture needs me, and tomorrow I'll be leaving with him. I ask why, and he just smiles. I'm not an orphan. Mom's alive somewhere, and Aunt Gracie is still probably looking for me. But I can't wait for them. I'm going to escape and find Amir, and we'll steal a submarine. Before it's tomorrow, I'll know what sunshine feels like. Our souls shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body.
Lot, the beast, is upon us, children. It wears a hide of iron, and its hands are death and change. It would seize the child from us, and with her, paradise itself. Be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, ye must stand fast and send it howling back to hell. All right, Doctor. I'm here. But don't think wearing this butterfly means I'm happy. Grace, I know you all too well. Want of child defines you. But biological loyalty turns us against the rest of the world, whom we ought to love in equal measure. Your poverty is testament to that, but your voice inspires the people. I am asking you, to join a much larger family. Though your body failed you, you shall live on in us. Control ought to be in the back. One thing though, once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. us all from ego.
we commend ourselves to the new and unknown, formed by our common strength and guided by the Lamb. Fuck around! I'm warning you! <laughs>
God, what a mess! Until Adam, the human animal was a slave to the gene, the inner tyrant. Lust, greed, rage, self-obsession was etched into our DNA. We were not pulling the great chain of progress, as Ryan believed, but shackled to it. But now, in theory, we can redraft the human blueprint. Serving the common interest can become as natural as breathing. The tyrant will simply go extinct. for control of a dead man's dream. The city is nothing. Rapture must die so that Eleanor may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Lambs overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park!
Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog through the dark. This is who we are. Get out of there, kid! It is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead. Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. Attention. Attention. 
Subject Delta has drained and infiltrated Dionysus Park. His death is our rebirth. The life of the people's daughter is in your hands. truly is the newest member of the Rapture family. I fed Wales a line about how the Tribune was stopping me from telling the people what's what, and without a word, he hands me an invite to this artist's retreat here at the park. Lamb bought my frustrated novelist act. She's even sponsoring me to ink it while I'm here. Except my story's all about her, and I don't think she's gonna like the way it ends. Your yellow eye gold. My name is Billy, and I saw you the other day at the Mill Go Round. I think you are very pretty, and I like your blue dress and the songs you sing about angels. My mom says your dad is scary, but I think he is strong and nice like a comic book hero. I got you a gift and put it in, in the basement where nobody will find it. The secret code for the door is when oh eight oh I hope you like it. I will wave to you next time I see you so you know it it's me. I'm told that Lamb has been seen in the streets. One of the Alpha series was killed in the incident and his bonded sister stolen. But the Council has no time for a manhunt. Atlas swells the ranks of his marauders by the day. Regardless, Lamb's name has already faded among the people. She is no more than a ghost who has forgotten to die. <laughs> Will you look at this hall? We're gonna be rich! Oh my, yes. If you enjoy slime and muck, it's utterly divine. Oh, bloody fucking da! Listen, princess, next time you eat at a drag, I want you to think of me. A lady's got to have some. precisely how I feel about this celebration of unconscious art. The 
artist reflects the world as it ought to be, not as it Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Well, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> Before the locals stopped reading and started finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Dionysus Park. Lamb mocks me in the naming of this place. She knows precisely how I feel about this celebration of unconscious art. The artist reflects the world as it ought to be. Not as it is damned to be by some spasm of the lower mind. I shall not censor. The park is Lamb's property. However, if the case we are building against her proves true, I will return with a sledgehammer. I found her. Found Cindy by this this rusted carousel. But she was just standing there, staring, waiting for the music. And she doesn't even recognize me. What have they done to her? Listen to her. The man in the moon is a girl, Mr. Bubbles. Listen, if anyone hears this, I have to know how to cure her. I... No! Get back! She's my little girl! Donna, listen. There's a hell of a structural flaw here in Dionysus Park. A leak in the primary drainage pipeline could flood this whole joint. Faulty pressure locks would seal in every sorry soul. One clumsy big daddy knocks open the wrong pipe and, hey presto, Lamb's little art show turns into Fish City. God forbid the wrong element finds out. Partners. We were partners. Share and share like I said. But I heard your mind. You were thinking about taking it all for yourself. Why would you throw away our friendship? No, Don't just hiding. let it bleed. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity, cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but uh, I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and uh, I can't have that. Why won't you cooperate? Tickety talk, Sasha. Any week now. There we go. And with just a bit of finesse. Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters.
city by sponsoring the artsy types here. Big thinkers to speak out against Ryan in their work. And all of it is right here in the park galleries. Open to the public. Lamb ain't even charging for it. And then Rapture? <laughs> That's just brazen. Like some kind of naturist camp where everybody wears pole hats <laughs> and nothing else. <laughs> long before Ryan's cronies can move in, and I can finally stop holding my breath. You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. learn to play poker, Eleanor. Like anyone, I am flawed and have a fierce genetic bias towards competition. But each Saturday, I read the other players, and I pick a man who will benefit the most from victory. By the final hand, I ensure that he takes home my entire stake and that of the others. I win nothing but the feeling of conquest over myself and the wealth of my competitors is slowly reshuffled according to their needs.
lanterns lit. <laughs> to be in pictures. Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. ends up in you, but you're sort of a silent partner, so that's tops with me.
Ten tempered palms, sixteen gold teeth, one purple, five sunshine times! describe her as a kind of secular saint, but dividing her loyalty evenly across the world at large spreads it so thin as to be invisible to some. Love, I have found, is beneath her. Naturally, Ryan arrested her, gave her to Sinclair to incarcerate somewhere, but upon her escape, she took the city and changed my life forever. You ain't a real At last, we have our Judas. One of my own people has been feeding Ryan evidence of my activities. And now, I am to be detained. As a religion, they merely monitored us. But as a commune, they would see us crucified. And yet, though he will be the last to see it, Andrew Ryan has already lost the people. Wherever I am sent, rapture will follow. Here. 
Normally, only a little sister can see them, but I can show you what Stanley is trying to hide. When Mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta is just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. sisters are getting older, which is troubling. As they reach adolescence, they become aggressive, feral. Worse, the atom they ingest contains traces of lethal plasmids left over from the war. The splicers are becoming far more effective predators as well. Our big daddies are falling left and right. Perhaps, perhaps the elder sisters could be trained to sniff out the lost atom and reclaim it for us. Yes, from what I've seen, they certainly wouldn't have to wait for the culprit to die.
Awareness of self is no miracle, Eleanor. It is a trick of the gene, an endless inner refrain asking, what's in it for me? To serve the world, we must grow deaf to the self. Are you ready? Now, stop listening to my voice. Stop listening. Stop. Difficult, isn't it? Human verbal cues are defensive coloration, camouflage. Play this recording until you no longer hear the words. Then you may observe the people for who they are.
Adam is Rapture Delta, the finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic, Eleanor. 
Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. Now, you were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public gave it a nickname, but Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up, erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. When all this is over, and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it. Each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the gatherer's garden. your future? Scout the situation before going ahead. Get the jump on your enemies with a plasmid surprise. Throw objects at higher speed for more damage.
Over there! Baby, He's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. Uh, but remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word.
Delta. Our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. System. Charge to summon a friendly bot anytime. Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people, a true utopian, brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth.
Subject Delta, I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! Oh, Christ Almighty. I... I swear it wasn't personal, okay? Don't... Don't... Please! Lamb broke out, and she's coming back. <laughs> wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but... Okay. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh, what am I gonna do? And I... Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. So, Lamb broke out, and she's coming back. Wow. Okay. Didn't see that coming, but... Okay. Oh, that is gonna be... Oh, what am I gonna do? And I... I've heard some of these... A lot of these people down here talking. Some of them, I know, saw the thing with Eleanor, and... Who knows who knows what? You can't just stop... You know, a whole cult from... From talking, can you? Well, maybe you can. Yeah. Maybe you can.
This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone, Lamb is gone, or close enough. I am alone at last, alone with my city. October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son.
Alex the Great? Oh, hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message with... Following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses en masse. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Please see password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado! Word to enter. I warned you. 
Automatic deactivation for 60 seconds. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Void of so-called free will, with all its convenient blind spots. What if he had been instructed to uphold the common good? What if he were a volunteer?
congratulations. You've won a battle of wits with a home appliance! in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 <laughs> I know what you're up to. You're after my job, aren't you? With your background? <laughs> Do you know what class of person we chose for the Alpha Series? Criminals, Delta. You'll be laughed out of the boardroom, out of the city! I think you're onto something, kid. Some kind of pirate relay doohickey keeping security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly.
Our hope was to bond a little sister to a single protector, so she had to be expendable in case of error. As we were fabricating a father bond, we couldn't really afford to have the girl's parents asking around. So, Fontaine's orphanage is provided, and the procedure was an unprecedented success. If I had only known who the child was, Eleanor, I'm so sorry.
better. One little jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employed of the money. Well, you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Where is your initiative, Delta? Why, in the old days, your antics never failed to amuse. Admittedly, this audience is... Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. A volunteer from the audience. Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. Volunteer? Oh, come now. Oh, gentlemen, she'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you! Delta, it looks like you've upstaged a fellow demonstrator and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Without you, and to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that getup. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy.
must have the boy. God damn This is Eleanor Lamb speaking. It's been many years since my last diary. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically, but she can't remove this... this thing inside my body. I look in the mirror, and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition, but he wants to make amends. ventured here in search of Conquest Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? <laughs> Oh, 
Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He uh, rented them to us, bound and sedated. No questions asked. Just earned you another slap on the nose, boy! Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, uh, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. Yeah? 
tyrant has no family, no friends, no country, only slaves chained in his wake. To his fellow, he asks, of what use are you to me? Those who love him are his subjects, for the tyrant accepts only worship or fear. I was to be Sophia Lamb's greatest achievement, a living composite of all Rapture's genius in the body of a single man, unfettered by self-interest. Now, I am nothing more to her than a failed experiment. My scores on tests of intelligence and moral reasoning are still noteworthy, but declining sharply. She has abandoned me, and I do not have long before psychosis takes me.
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. both measures of the new utopian project. He will become a kind of genetic chimera, host to all the minds of rapture, accessing their talents and memories via the Adam we have gathered. And deriving in part from Project WYK, I have developed a new set of behavioral constraints. Dr. Alexander will live to promote the common good. His love and loyalty shall be spread evenly across the entire human race. For me, that is discipline at great personal cost. For him, at last, it will be instinct. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. <laughs> Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. 
the slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it. Listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down. Find those plants he mentioned and lure him back out. the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That madwoman Tannenbaum bit the company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today, I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. Have you running around the laboratories in your condition?
marching around playing daddy until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why?
summarily executed as an outsider caught within these grounds. Or to be united, not just with your daughter Cindy, but with the Rapture family as well. The choice is yours. I urge you to accept the Protector program. You will live by her side and remember nothing beyond your love for her. <laughs> I wasn't the first to find Rapture. You crazy bitch. And I won't be the last. You do whatever you want to me. As long as I'm with Cindy, I'm... I'm a happy man. I'm always safe with Daddy. Adam, Daddy. Let's get it.
angel. This is where they bound us together, Father. Plain God, you were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room.
sister through a new regimen of physical and mental conditioning and suited her up with modified protector equipment of my design. The younger ones have dubbed her a big sister. Sadly, this is a stopgap. Between rogue splicers and the aging of the girls, we'll run out of viable little sisters soon. After that, the surface may be our only source.
I confess. Just now, Sinclair saw me in the corridor, perhaps reading my face. The bastard looked me right in the eye and suggested I make an appointment with Dr. Lamb. <laughs> All right, sport, time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. Poor Gilbert. It was his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library. Oh, I can't kid myself. This lifestyle is a disgrace. son, you reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically.
You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. Touch me. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you will administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. You, you don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. Oh, please. I will go outside. I will live outside. Charge up to blast bows with a fountain of flame! Deep freeze enemies quickly! Charge up to shower foes with a devastating ice storm!
calls everything into question. Even as I record this, I can scarcely believe. Psychiatry has been my continual study to chart consciousness in all its strata. But intelligence does not require introspection. The son of Ryan was more effective than all his self-aware rivals. He lived without questions. I could end the self and save the world. This is the Oxyfil station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. Yeah. 
quickly. I, I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. I wonder, Delta, do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. Persephone, secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out, and now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility, but if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. That's her son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. Tank she's in. Use the controls to break the quarantine seal. she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta, and take heart, for you at least have escaped your legacy.
Stay now. Quarantine chambers waiting on you. Get in there. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. His body is shutting down now, naturally. But if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. feels a bit strange, Father, but now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. office there's a way to unlock these chambers she's holding us in find a way to slip in there
You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change, to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments from his journey here. She is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to, to take measures for which I will be unable to forgive myself. Mother says that my condition is a blessing in disguise. She constantly reminds me that I was born for the express purpose of promoting her ideals. And now, she's trying to convince me to begin splicing with the same cocktail that drove Dr. Alexander mad. She thinks that my condition makes me immune to the damage. The surface is my only chance at freedom. But Mother took the one person I knew from above and murdered him in front of my eyes. Father, if I could only find a way to bring him back. There's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. Ten years, Father. Stuck in this... this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that.
quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found Father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to see... The other sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father because of me. I've been quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found Father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see Mother's face. was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father, studying the way you have treated others, and now I know who I am. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one, and it gave me hope for the first time in years. We've done it. Father is back, right under Mother's nose. I've contacted a woman named Tenenbaum through my sisters. We've worked out a way to free his mind inside that suit, to awaken the man inside the monster. Mother's entire belief structure is corrupt. And if I know one thing about Father, it's that he will believe and escape. Eleanor, it is time for you to accept your duty to the people. When you awake, you'll understand. No! Get away from me! Now, I will do the same for all the others. Starting with this one. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. 
I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. your side. Warning, nothing lasts forever. Delta, I know you can hear me. You have stolen my life's work, and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Oh God! She's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. Yes, father, quickly. This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? The man who would sell paradise. And where is he now? Warning. Warning. A security curfew is now in effect. All cells and bulkheads are sealed until further notice. This facility hangs over an ocean trench delta. The family has activated timed charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation, or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing if we hurry. Come on! Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. 
I'm going to have a look around. Traps for unsuspecting enemies. Lure your foes into deadly ambushes. Summon a swarm of insects. Laugh as they seek out hidden enemies. We have to get you out of Rapture, Father. It's the only way I can save you now.
Ray's been ousted. He wasn't slick enough to avoid the boot this time. But at least it wasn't a firing squad. Lamproot, she's got the ear of the general population down here. So it'd probably be prudent to play along for a while. See where this goes. She says she'll let me keep my little fiefdom here in holding. As long as I agree to help supply her therapy sessions. <laughs> no qualms there. These sorry buggers could use some rehabilitation. what you should have been. One final Alpha series, ready to die for the family. As Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. Mother's controlling Sinclair father, and he's got the master key. Catch him! Kid! Lamb's in my head. I, I can't help myself. I have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. world, suspended over a pit with no hope of release. And what's our charge? Ryan has no room for differences of opinion in his precious rapture. I hope the whole place comes crashing down around his ears. Sinclair's lifeboat now. 
Delta cannot reach me here. But you can. You need not die with him. We... We shall return to the surface together, if you will only step inside and accept your duty. Remember, Eleanor, Mummy loves you. Ah, yes. Mother's testing me. One last game. Fortunately, by now, I'm the world's foremost expert at breaking her rules. I've made my choice, Father, and it needs be. I'll die for it. Kid, I'm sorry. I, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and put me down. Wish there was another way, but I'd rather die a man than live like this. God, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here, or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. Find the code to the watchtower, or work out a way to draw him out. and I, I did rent you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. Oh, wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat, it, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. Good! Good! 
much, son. That's half the code. Now find the rest. some kind of jump on me. I hope. Free will, Delta. Eleanor's gift to you. And with each decision, you twisted her into your own image. Sinclair has no such choice. Yet in its absence, he serves the world unerringly. He is now the better man. <laughs> Send a message to my cell in Block A, telling me where you hid the code, and I'll consider your debts paid. The Wardens ignored my warnings for far too long. I'm taking this into my own hands. I secured a hack tool to nullify his turrets and subvert the bots. I also figured out the code. It's two, six, but... <laughs> The full code, kid. You've done it now. Now just come on in here and put me down easy. Eleanor see the sun. It's time to leave this place. I held out hope for months that I'd see my family again, but it seems like this rope is my only ticket to freedom. I'm sure Ryan has seized the bookstore. No telling where Gloria and Billy will have to live. Can't seem to form a complete thought anymore. Can't sleep with that glow coming in the windows. Things out there watching us. Maybe I'll get to sleep now. Delta, you were a thing of beauty 
when first we met. Non-conscious, yet utterly vital to your city. The flaw was only in your master's intent. It is an error we have corrected in Sinclair. He is bonded to the entire family. See the back doors open. Now try to get something in here to pick a fight. It's got to be a real threat, I think. Gee, Mr. Dodge, that's quite a generous offer. I hid the code in the community bathroom, in the tank of the last toilet on the left. I also stashed Mother Luke there for a rainy day. It's all yours. Good luck using the code. Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. We need that key. Sinclair is dead, Father. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you were close. When you're ready, take the key. Lamb's attention seems to have drifted from my prisoners to her daughter. Guess she figures they're irredeemable. Now I got guys clamoring for the next fix of Adam. And I've got to pull teeth to squeeze any out of the good doctor. Guess I'm lucky your treatments give them too weak to storm the tower, or they'd have my guts for garters. Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. Override engaged. Ending security curfew. Sealing security office temporarily. Sinclair died a hero of the Rapture family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety, like a spoiled child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now!
every moment tears Eleanor further from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. Use the plasmid. I can help. Holy sinner, oh Lord! Who's next? I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. I won't let her take you from me again, Father. Hold on! not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Mother's people are starting to detonate the charges. We don't have long. My father he raised me not to echo him, but to model the world as it ought to be. I was to teach a simple moral calculus. Each choice as though the world must bear it. Each life or death for the common good. He called it the triage imperative and would laugh without smiling. Ne 
name? Where am I? Name. What the fuck did you do with my wife? Name. Let me out of this chair! It evokes heaven on earth. Yet the word means both good place and no place. An ideal, unreachable. Even in the naming of it, we refuse to believe. And yet, we will forever seek utopia, driven always to want more, no matter how much we have. It is a of human ironies that our very drive to find the has kept us from abiding there. I will smile. And I as such. Congratulations. You have just experienced the illusion of free will. Now think. I will never become angry again. And act as such. The illusion begins to break down. Your genes. We're almost to the pediatric ward. I expect we'll be fighting our way inside. The gene is part of the program. I submit the following conclusion. The G is the enemy. always said I shouldn't be allowed to wander the city in my condition but without going outside it's harder to hear much about the world so I'm learning at home this I think is our porcelain tea service in the style of Louis the 15th isn't that right now that's a fascinating sound and this is called a stained glass window Handcrafted by your adoring flock. They've gone to a lot of trouble to capture your likeness, haven't they? The precious Lamb of God. I know I reach that new Jerusalem.
Things aren't so rosy for Lamb's little collective farm down here, no matter how much influence she's got with the inmates. She keeps feeding Ryan more and more of her people for the Big Daddy program in order to keep the rest of her flock alive. I think she's getting desperate. I ought to have Weir double the orderlies on all the major junctions. the proviso. You wanted her expertise, and now you have it. Ryan Industries is your client, and we require test candidates from among your charges. The protectors are short-lived. Lamb would be a messiah, correct? Well, sell her a sacrifice to save the flock. them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there, and then I'll proceed. Wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. Go on ahead, Father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. Are not safe. 
leaving them, Delta. No matter how pure your intent. The surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. Look, Father. I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. The Plasmid Father! Just point the way and I'll help you fight. the charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead. Not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Elena was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian, serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. Delta was in top form today. The guards tried to make him take another dose of whatever the hell it is they're pumping into him, and he managed to take on all four of them at once. Snapping legs and arms, blood everywhere. They say one of the guys might not even wake up. I wish I could be that free.
ready, Father. Don't let go now. Wake up! Why don't you wake up? I will not lose another patient! I need help in here, quickly! Where is that damn nurse? Don't you dare expire! Don't you dare! What's happened here? I will...
just managed to dart past the nurse today and throw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or, or merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed by the time I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now, without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break and set them almost a dozen times, each due to the small window of viability. Now, those children may be immortal, but I can verify, they feel pain. Advising Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again. My first incarnation when Dr. Lamb gave me my mandate to alleviate pain was to block its neural pathways. Now, the preliminary results were promising too, until some of the children started chewing their own tongues off out of ignorance. Need to sequester them away from the others so as not to cause undue stress on the remaining subjects. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed.
think... Yes, we're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. Warning. Warning. Ballast, ballast reservoir, reservoir is full. full. Reservoir, reservoir must, must be vented, vented prior, prior to launch. launch. your traps with plasmid power. Try out many combinations. from her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, Father. Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil.
I can help you fight back now. Use the plasmid. <laughs> The ballast water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. It's flooded, Father. We have to equalize the pressure in here or the door won't open. Destroy those glass the tubes to flood the room. We all It's the only way to stop them. We... we've done it, Father. We're launching. Get to the elevator.
then, Father, the rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed, you endured, and when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. We are Utopia, you and I, and in forgiving, we left the door open for her. The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, Father, and I need you to guide me. You will always be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering. Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning. <laughs>